Hello. Today I'm going to show you how I processed my prairie skyscape photo down the road. I'm going to use RadLab, the totally rad Photoshop plugin from gettotallyrad.com and textures from Atelier Textures at pictorialistphoto.com. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is create a duplicate layer. This will preserve the original. So what I do is just drag that background copy in the Layers panel down to the new layer. And here we have a duplicate. Next I go to my Filters menu, Totally Rad, and open up the Rad Lab. You can see there are a variety of stylets to choose from in the center panel and a live instant preview on the left. It's that live preview and one-click access which makes RadLab so awesome. You can scroll through all the stylets to mix and match for a customized look which matches the mood or story you want to convey. So first I think I'm going to go with Oh Snap. This just boosts the contrast and light a bit. And I'm going to go just scroll down here until I find what I want. I'm going to use Divine Light next. And I want to warm up the color tones a bit, so let's try Warm It Up Chris. Now I just don't want this to be overwhelming, so I'm going to take the strength down in both the Warm It Up Crisp and the Divine Light. Just make the effect a little more subtle. This looks like what I was trying to achieve, but I'm just going to scroll down and take a look and maybe test out some of the other settings just to see what it does and, and uh, whether I'll like the effect. And this is one of the things that I really like about RadLab, is you can just scroll through and instantly tell whether you want to make any changes or not. You have a lot of choices. And as you can see, like what you choose can really affect how the image looks. It can change the whole mood and meaning, meaning of the image. You know, if I apply Montecito, it, it becomes a totally different image. Some great black and white presets and then some sharpening ones. And I'm pretty much satisfied with what I have. So what you can do now is you can save these settings as a recipe and name it whatever you want or you can just click finished. And I don't want to save this as a recipe today so I'm just going to click finished. RadLab does its thing and applies the settings to your, to your layer. Now it's time to work with our textures. So what I've chosen to try today is the Texture Dabo from Atelier Textures. And this was a, a pastel landscape that I had done on paper. So I'm just going to click on that and hold down my Shift key as I drag that in. And what that does will bring it in as a new layer that's centered. The texture is a little bit smaller than the image I'm working with, so I'll just uh, drag it to the right size. Hit Apply, and now I'm going to try yeah, the Blend Mode Overlay, which is too harsh, so I'll tone it down a bit and use Soft Light. I'm going to scroll, zoom in, and just check what that does and how the texture looks at a hundred percent. And it's pretty subtle the effect of this texture and I like what it's done. What I don't like is the color. 
you can see that's taken away the warm tones that I had in the image. So what I'm going to do now is go into the layer panel. No, sorry. The image panel. Adjustments. And I'm going to play with the hue saturation. I could do this as a layer, uh, adjustment layer, but I'm going to do it in here and make the change to the actual texture itself. So I'm taking the color and, and warming it up again so I get that the warm tones in my clouds again. I'm going to reduce the saturation just a bit because it's a bit strong and I'll leave my lightness as it is. And so you, now you can see it's added that texture in but hasn't altered the color tones and the warmth of the image as much. Now I'm going to try, when I'm working with textures, it's often a process of experiment. You bring in some, maybe they work, maybe they don't. You try another one, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I'm thinking this image might be done, but I want to try and use one of my newer textures called Corbett. And this was um, just a fraction a photograph of a, of a bit of the oil painting on canvas that I had done. So again, I just dragged it while holding the shift key and that centers it. And this texture is the same size, so I don't need to make any adjustments to the size. And I'm just going to compare before, after. I don't like what it did to the light. So here it is with soft light, and I like that better. I'm going to zoom in again and look at the full size. And so here you can see a bit of that canvas texture from, from the Corbett uh, painting has come through. I'm just going to scroll around the image, make sure there's nothing, no flaws or anything that I don't like coming through. And you can maybe have seen uh, when I was scrolling through the softness in the image. And this is one of the things that is kind of a signature for my look, is that I don't capture sharp images. I rarely capture sharp in images. And I rarely use the sharpening tools. I want my images to have a softer, more impressionistic look to them. Okay, and I think that looks good, and I'm going to call it done. So using RadLab made processing this image pretty quick, pretty easy. That's all for today.